Okay, let's plug in my budget into this apartment finding app and see where I can afford to live in the city. And it looks like I'll be living in a windowless shed in somebody's backyard. Pretty bohemian. Hello, I am considering moving to this apartment and am collecting statistical data from current residents to help me with my decision. Could you spare 45 minutes for a detailed survey? To me, where I live doesn't really matter. As long as I have an internet connection, I'm at home. Here's a life hack for moving. You can use toothpaste to fill in small holes in the wall. Now, if only I could find a life hack for filling in full body-sized holes in the wall, I might have a shot of getting my security deposit back. My absolute favorite part of moving is purging my possessions, just getting rid of it all, especially my clothes. It's the perfect excuse to go on a shopping spree later. It's so hard to get rid of anything. I'm just so sentimental. Like with this mug, I don't even use it anymore, but I just don't want to say goodbye. I've got to eat all the food left in my fridge and freezer before the move. Too bad, last time I went to the grocery store, I bought nothing but pizza, fries, beer, and ice creams. What was I thinking? Now I've got to invite all my friends over. Time to start clearing out my closets and find all the boxes I never unpacked from my last move. And the move before that. And the move before that. And the move before, with my moving binder right here, I know what item is in each box. All the boxes are color coded and I have a system for loading the boxes into the moving truck for maximum efficiency. The only oversight is I already packed all the toilet paper, so. Luckily, I have a few extra sheets of paper in here. All right, guys, thanks so much for coming to help me move today. But first, we gotta get everything packed up. And to do that, we're going to need boxes. So uh, where do you get those? Guys? Anybody? Pro tip, always have at least one friend who owns a pickup truck or a large van. It doesn't matter if you like the guy, but you need to be on his good side when it's time for you to move and you don't want to pay money for a professional moving company. Moving company? I can destroy my furniture on my own. Why would I pay professional movers to do it for me? Moving day is one of the biggest pains in the butt that there are in life. So that's why I get all my friends together to help me move. Sharing in this day of suffering will bring us that much closer together. Uh, watch your back with that couch, guys. Wow, so many memories wrapped up in this old apartment, like in that corner where I sat and cried, or in that other corner where I sat and cried. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss this place. Timmy, I know we haven't always gotten along, but I really appreciate you coming out to help me move. Hey, why don't you start by moving that pile of boxes right there? It's my brick collection. That's right, boxes full of bricks. Have fun with that, Timmy. We move from an old house to a new house, but bring along all of the old possessions we've accumulated through the years. In much the same way, we move through time, followed by a moving truck crammed full of boxes of embarrassing emotional clutter, which composes the story of our lives. And much like real life moving, no matter how many boxes I seem to unpack, there's always more, always more. Yo, check out these cool designs you could be wearing on your own body. Tap the icon on the screen or go to the link in the description. You could be drinking out of cups and repping your favorite YouTube channel, which is this one. Till next time, stay cool and attractive.